Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Great Qing. What makes them so great? Well, they have, uh, what, a third of the world population under their control, as well as the highest GDP by some margin. They are not, however, the greatest of powers, mainly because of their lack of uh, prestige, and also generally they have a lot of troops, but they're kind of paper tigerish. Uh, it's my first time playing uh, as China, so we'll figure it out as we go. But I'm gonna try and transform China into a modernized state. We're gonna try and not have this sort of stuff happen and not get forced into treaty port kind of things. Here's a thing. Fragile unity. Various local military powers within the Great Qing may tear the country apart if given the opportunity. You're looking at the opportunity. <laughs> Okay, so there are a lot of different things it looks like that will risk fracturing us. Here are the things that will fracture us. Failing to stop the appearance of the Heavenly Kingdom, failing to retake the Heavenly Kingdom, failing the Box Rebellion, going to default, having a civil war, becoming a subject, abolishing the monarchy, or losing the Opium Wars. However, if we stamp out monarchism, we cease to be an unrecognized power and we win the Opium Wars, then we do well. Otherwise, China will shatter. Is it bad that I kind of want China to shatter? I think that sounds like more fun. That might be another video idea. What if we shatter China and then try and build that up again? Oh, man. So I was looking to make a thumbnail, and it was uh, day one of release. And already people had made a debug mode on and off uh, thing, as well as this advanced cheat menu. So that's great to see. But I'm going to go turn them off now. Right, so starting fresh. I uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out to how quickly people can mod these kinds of games. It's insane. Let us have a look around and see what we can do here. So the Heavenly Kingdom, if anyone is Protestant and turmoil is greater than 15, that's bad. Okay, let's take a look around. Markets wise, we have loads of grain, like so much grain. We are lacking in clothes. What are our export laws? Do we have trade routes? We do. Opium. Oh no. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, the Opium Wars were a series of wars where um, China tried to ban opium because it was bad for their people. And Britain went, no, because we like to sell it to you. China went, we don't want that. And then Britain decided to... Uh, well, gunboat diplomacy and sort of sail up a bunch of rivers and blow some things up and take the places like Hong Kong. So, <laughs> I don't want opium. All right, let's go for some romanticism. Also, do we have... Okay, it's just it's just the scholar officials in government. I think a local police force will go a long way to stamping out any sort of dissent. I think it's also worth pointing out that everywhere here has insufficient taxation capacity. What this means is that there's too many people in there for us to appropriately be able to tax. So that gives us, for example, in this province, let me, give, let me show you another one like Beijing, minus 70% because it's using 1,500 of the 543 taxation capacity. So I'm tempted, first we need to move away from traditionalism. That's important. Like we need to move on to agrarianism, for example. But for that, we need romanticism and we need the rural folk and government. So we'll do that in a bit. For now, I'm tempted Instead of building any sort of like industry, I'm tempted to build a metric ton of these government administration places. Because my thinking is that we probably have a lot of industry already. We can just tax it <laughs> instead of doing anything else. So we'll give that a shot. Why not? We're going to build like good, like 30 in a couple of these different places. And that also gives us a load of bureaucracy to be able to enact laws. So let's just go up to about 30 in each of these. All right, uh, first though, I want to get some construction centers in a few of these areas. I wanna go overboard with it because I really don't wanna tank our economy because I feel like there's a bit of a fragile beast. We'll bump up to iron frame buildings, however. Chuck it on speed five and let's see what we can do. Input good shortage, we need iron and expensive goods of iron and paper. Yeah, paper's gonna be a big one. Let's start importing paper because we're gonna need it, obviously, for the uh, governing stuff. Because these buildings, the government administration buildings need paper to, you know, write down people's like taxes and that sort of stuff. Opium crisis, brilliant. Immediately, opium addiction is, is ravaging us. All right, we are going to, for five years, we're gonna try and do something and Britain is gonna try and do the opium wars. Oh God, here we go. Following conditions must be true and for a total of five years can be interrupted. Has taken the ban opium trade decision. If we enact free trade or if we are like destroyed, then we are defeated in the opium wars. So, that's a thing that we need to be aware of. We start out not taxing our people. Okay, we do have local police force, which is good. We're gonna tax our people a little bit more. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of tax waste. Okay, so if we ban opium, there we go, we're gonna ban, op ban opium for five years. I feel like we're playing very much into the game's hands here, and it makes me a little bit concerned. How's that helped? Uh, it has helped a little bit. Let's just keep building these government 
Administration. Everyone's gonna employed by gonna get employed by the government. That's the plan. Everyone's gonna get employed by the government, and we're all gonna figure out who owes how many taxes. I'm tempted just to gun it and uh Okay, I can't because you're angry, I can't do anything for you, but I also can't enact the laws that you want. Uh oh. Okay, it's not me. Without scandal, get out of here. Probably should not have done the police force initially, because these guys are angry. What I need to do is get the rural folk in, and then I can change my laws. <laughs> so, uh, this is bad. Um, I don't have a solution. They're pretty confident. All right, watch me lose the opium wars right now. I reckon we just mobilize everything and just gamble, man. That's, that's all we could really do. Mobilize everything. Are there any fronts that we can advance on? No. Okay, he's mobilizing everything as well. We have like four times his amount of troops. We just need to open up as many fronts as possible. The game sometimes does this, does this weird thing where it just like creates like 50 different um, front lines. Okay, here they go. Okay, the British have declared war on us. Dude, don't show me the Kazakh wars. He's here somewhere. He's here. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, they're pushing in the Beijing, boys. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Every Look, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We just send everyone to defend. And then, hopefully, when we get pushed back, it'll split into like 50 different fronts. And then we'll be okay. We just have to hold out because everyone's addicted to opium, remember? God damn. Okay, we have the advantage. I'm going to get you to advance the front. Everyone else defend it. Because then about 50% of the battles will be us attacking, right? Which might seem bad, but we have population to burn. That is the Qing way. They're taking Beijing. They're, they're taking, they're actively, they're in the middle of taking Beijing. I have another idea. Activate every conscript. Now all of China will know you're here. <laughs> oh God, the thing is if they take your capital, it's pretty much done for you. 70 battalions of reserve. I don't know. Recruit here. Get this guy. They're just so much better than us. <gasps> we successfully defended against one thing. Let's go. Okay, they have our, ca have our capital. That is that is the bad part of this. Siak wants a defensive pact. Buddy, I'm a bit busy. Okay. We just got to hold out, boys. If we get minus 100, then we lose automatically. Notice how we're getting closer to minus 100. God damn. Just getting our asses kicked. Yeah, look at that. Widespread opium addiction. Let's go! People redoubling their efforts. <laughs> oh, God. We have like a thousand guys here. We can't win a single battle. All right. Uh, we're about to lose, so I'm about to all out offensive this. Throw your lives away! You are meaningless in the grand plan of the Qing. Believe in only me. Sell your lives cheaply. Forwards! Only forwards! We're about to lose. Half a million men died. <laughs> okay. So that didn't work. Oh, no. <laughs> Our humility defeat at the hands of our enemies has forced us to open our markets. Not only will the flow of opium continue uninterrupted, but our sovereignty has been violated and the people are outraged. Ooh. So. Okay, that didn't go well. Maybe it's harder this way around. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so I think our issue there was we tried to ban opium too early before we were ready to. Um, I think this time around, let's focus on sorting our economy. So we're going to go over here and do romanticism. Get the agrarian economy, economy not the police state stuff. Then we're going to research line infantry, get some decent infantry going, and, and we'll go from there. So for now, we won't ban opium. Okay, so iron frame buildings, tax you lot. Let's get the rural folk into government. And let's piss at everyone off by switching over to, we can't switch over to agrarianism just yet, but we will. Okay, opium crisis. We're going we're gonna to do the opium crisis thing, but we're not going to fight it until after this is, is gone. That, that's what happens to your standard of living when everyone's addicted to opium. Wait, it's number 211, 232 worldwide. How? Who are we around? Who's around us? Wait. Oh, we're right next to Tunis. <laughs> Great. Good job, boys. Okay, so the markets, we have a slight deficit of paper uh, and of clothes and everything else. But again, our people are unimportant in the grand scheme of the Qing. Let's get a couple more construction centers. Literally just anywhere with people. I'm going to afford a couple more. Each time one of these is completed, our level of taxation goes up just a bit. Okay. So how aggressively do you want to pursue this? I do want to get the... Where is it? Down here, I think it is. It's like some taxation capacity. There we go, some taxation capacity. Seven years? We'll, okay, let's go mandatory service first. And we'll get line infantry after that. Yeah, maybe it does well at this. I haven't played enough yet, but I think you should, you should always have this until you ban opium. 
the fact that it can go off for three years and then I can just sort of build after that and ignore it is a bit strange to me. Our cash reserves. 15 million. Wonderful. Okay, let's switch over to agrarianism. No one's opposed to it, which is nice. Usually, I'm, I'm, whenever I try and do a reform like this, everyone and their mother hates it. And in the Qing, that's a lot of mothers. I'm not going to defensive pact with you, Sulu. Okay, we've got a, a lack of iron. Okay, we're going to need some of that. There's some line infantry going. Although, if we invested heavy into... And this is going to sound strange. If we invested heavy into the Navy, he has 150 flotillas. He's probably not going to do all of them at once. We currently have... 15. So we'd have to... Oh god, what's this? I don't care. I'll force it through. We have bureaucracy to burn. I also have decrees. Um, I think most of the industry probably comes with grain, right? Yeah, everyone just grows grain. Let's just encourage agricultural industry everywhere. That'll spike our GDP a bit. That scared me. I thought it's, it's just the Russians go after Kazakh again. I thought I thought it was getting attacked. Now, our GDP probably won't be growing um, very much at all during this time, but it doesn't need to because we need to become more efficient before we can think about anything to do with GDP. So this right here will lower our tax, it will increase our taxation capacity, but it will lower our um, bureaucracy, population, cost, multiply, whatever. And we have a lot of population, so that could really, really go badly. But hopefully if we get it here, we do get it here. Okay, so as you can see, distinct lack of this. But overall, that was a good move because of our taxation capacity increase. And some line infantry. We don't need more conscriptable battalions. We need to actually be able to pay our troops. Ah, more opium. When does this end? 20 months. No! Stop getting addicted to opium! I'm gonna create more construction centers. Oh, Jesus, even more opium. Alright, I will fix it soon, I promise. But you gotta, you gotta wait for a while. Alright, I'm gonna kick our construction industry into the next gear. Don't think we have any other choice. My gamble, boys. Suddenly that spiked. What the hell happened? Oh, um, temporary investment. I enjoy how divisive uh, the music that you're currently hearing is. Like people tell me, oh, I was like humming it in the store the other day. I'm like, oh, it's great. It's really, really cool. And then some people are like, I, I despise you for this. I can't get it out of my head. And then I'm like, no, it's it's, it's done its job. Are there any shortages? I don't think there are any shortages. Good. Ooh, we can go isolationist. And just, sorry, Britain. <laughs> you can't, you can't come in. Do you know how many people have been, oh, it's late. I'm, I made the joke of the first one, I admit, but that was just to get ahead of it. I actually hate it. So people are like, ha, oh, late, they put you in the game. Like, yes, I know, a common woodworking tool. Like, I went to I went to a school, right, and when we had um, woodworking, and the, and the teacher just, yeah, you got to take your thing over to the lathe here, and everyone's like, ha, ha, and they come, like, handing me these stupid little chunks of, like, rectangular bits of wood, going, ha, go on, lathe, turn it into, like, a roll. It's so dumb. It was, like, ten years ago, man, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta chill. <laughs> okay, so after this, I think I'm gonna focus more on what we actually need. So we have a deficit of clothing, of paper, of chairs. So we have a surplus of silk and we have a shortage of iron. Okay, we need to import more iron from the Brits apparently. Let's have a look here. We have a slight surplus of wood um, and fabric. So textile mills seem like the obvious choice. Uh, let's just build like 10 in each province. We have a lot of people, lads. We can afford it. But we may tank our own thing here. You, you kind of want to like... Victoria's one of those games you want to make slight small tweaks to. And uh, that's just not my playstyle. So, you know. Whoops. Why do we still have a shortage of iron? Okay, we need to build more iron mines then. Because when I never do fight the British, I'm going to lose all of my iron. Build some iron mines as well. And if you go over to buildings and development, we can switch everyone over to line infantry. Someone sounds like they're downstairs. But I live alone. Okay. So, uh, it was uh, apparently, uh, it looked like two people were trying to climb over my fence. Uh, fortunately, I have a very big dog. <laughs> so, I don't think they thought much of that idea very quickly. Okay, so if I want to switch over to this, I need artillery. And here, I don't have the qualifications to fully stuff barracks. I need about 50,000. We can afford it. It's not an issue. Maybe we switch over to, like, an arms industry. Like, sure, we wouldn't make any money off it, but we're making a lot of money now. All right, now we start building our textile mills. Suddenly, everyone's going to have clothes. Keep it on their market. Make sure I don't just, like, flood it by mistake. We can export some grain. I don't see why we wouldn't. Yeah, so clothing is increasing our quality of living. Wonderful. This, if we import some dyes, will help us as well. Now, the issue is making sure that we actually have the dyes. And we do have a, a, a bit, but maybe not for the sheer quantity that's about to happen. Okay, I am going to switch over all of our troops from now. And then hopefully it'll attract some people. Nice, okay. So now we have a shortage of arms. That's fine. And oh, something happened there. What the hell happened? 
Cash expenses stayed the same. Income went down. I'm assuming it's because this went down. Yeah, okay. Our aristocrats run out of money to finance our uh, textile mills. Can we import guns from anyone other? Well, I could import guns from the Russians. Is that going to be enough? What the hell was that? There was something in here. Oh, infrastructure. Well, that sucks to be you, dude. Uh, actually, I might be able to do something about that. There you go. That helps. Yeah, small arms is going down. How's our market for clothes doing? A shortage of iron, that's fine. I don't really care about that anymore because we've got an iron mine on the way and to do anything else would probably smash our own industry to pieces. Clothing is also declining. This is good. Because clothing and furniture, it's what your population needs. It's, it's, it's the bread and butter. Is it worth trying to get some sort of school? Maybe. I do want to start focusing military though. 10% army defense, that's exactly what we need. Defending against the British. We, I think we just single-handedly created a Russian arms industry. The sheer amount of guns that we're importing. Feeling kind of ready to the point where... Okay, we don't have the minus 25% malice anymore. We do not have the... Where are you? The malice, the barracks anymore. If I check that by going in here. Yeah, we don't have any malices there. That's slight malice for the shortages, but that's okay. I say we do it. I'm going to ban opium. Ban opiums, boys. Opiums. And we have no authority. Okay, I need to... I need to sort that out. Otherwise, we're going to have a sudden... Oh, no. Okay, suddenly radicals are going to be everywhere. Let's see, are the British going to step to us? Small arms import shortage. Why won't we port from the Russians, man? And Gansu is going to be our center of, uh, of military goods. How are we doing on clothing? Uh, yep, yeah, still still slowly trickling up. We have an import demand for opium. I'm definitely not going to be importing opium, thank you very much. How many textile mills did I build? My god, and we've got a bunch of iron mines, and then we have that st the uh, the arms industry is up and running. Okay, what else, what else could we afford here? More clothing, furniture. We're running out of wood. Let's get some logging camps. I know it says we're not going to be making any money, but I think we will. So I'm going to go with it, I think. Oh god, smugglers. Uh, we either humiliate them or execute them. Let's just kill them. <laughs> that gives me enough authority for a decree of uh, infrastructure. Yay. Go check. These are actually profitable, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't check if they were going to be profitable. I just assumed they would be. The more complex that your economy gets, right? Especially if you're impo importing things. So let's say you have an economy that's based on electricity, for which you need motors, for which you need steel, for which you need iron. Wait one sec. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, force great power to remove our status. That sounds good. Recognize us. Anyway, so that means that if one, if like, if one of these little Jenga pieces falls, like let's say your iron mine for whatever reason has a crisis and crumbles, then this economy, this thing crumbles. The one that uh, on top of it crumbles, and everything else crumbles. So it, it kind of sucks. Should I just start conquering estates? I don't think that's a good idea at all. All right, let's just. Who wants us to enact a presidential republic? Have you met the Qing? Damn, he's got a lot of troops. Okay, is that just one big front line? That's the worst possible thing that could have happened to us. All right. Well, time to go bankrupt, apparently. All right, defend, uh, defend. It's gonna take a while. I wish there's like a, 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 a universal button for this, defend all, you know? Oh boy, the Russians were our main source of uh, of guns. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Uh, let's, we need, we really need some more guns. I can sway some countries, but I don't think, ooh, who are you? The Japanese would join. Would you do anything? I can offer you Russian war operations. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's a thing. So, the French might not supply me anymore. I mean, it's quite historically accurate, this, because everyone did sort of dogpile on the... Oh, God. On the uh, the Qing. So, yeah, we'll see what, we'll see how this one goes down. You know what I want to do? <laughs> just see what happens. We can just fight them to a stalemate, because it's away from our capital, which is nice. So, initially, we're not doing great. <laughs> how do you have this much offense? Because they pushed it up here. That's that's That sucks. We have defended against the Grand Duchy of Finland, though, so there's that. I think we need cannons as well to actually defend god why is this so bad i'm just out here trying to ban opium okay fortunately this this land isn't really worth that much so if we can just hold out for long enough okay i think part of holding out for long enough i think it could be an idea if we just sort of throw everyone into attack because yeah we'll use we'll lose a lot of troops but i think it'll work because we're kind of just stalling now it's so crazy it might just work because from the outset china looks like a really uh, dominant nation the play as, but uh, unfortunately it is not not the case. I'm just thinking we could pip into the post just one or two times. Oh well, we're not beating the French, are we? We are building our domestic arms industry. That's nice, and we have managed to defend there. Lovely. Okay, they're more than one front. Uh, yes, there's there's a couple of different fronts. That's ideal for us considering the sheer quantity of our troops. It's weird because the Russians usually are the ones with the more troops, but uh, in this case, it does not work like that. Okay, the Japanese shogunate is defending us. We love to see that from them. That's huge. Yes! Sheer force of numbers! Let's go! 
Yeah, we don't have any cannons. <laughs> That's our main issue. We have pushed them back a little bit, it looks like. Look at that. I'm very shocked to see it. Okay, we are also, like, our economy is collapsing. So that's not good, but I think it's worth it. Jesus Christ. That gives us plus 10% defense. That's really good. Okay, we're going to ignore everything else and go for production now. So we do... We're going to build furniture later. So let's focus on that tech. Got 1,200 guys in the field. And we're just throwing men at the problem. <laughs> it's actually working. That's the beautiful thing. How many people have we lost? We've got almost a million dead. We have killed like 500,000 though. I'm assuming most of that's from attrition. Yeah, that number's really, really skyrocketing. That's fine. We just, we don't, it doesn't matter. We can kill, like, the fewer people, you're helping my taxation capacity, if you think about it. Oh my god, we pushed into Russia. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, we just need to find him down to a white piece. Unfortunately, the Japanese shogun does not want peace. Russia does. Russia's like, yeah, get me out of here. I think he has a lot of, oh, he has, he has a lot of loans. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's fine, we've got gold reserves for days. And we've got a domestic arms industry now, which is good. Dude, Russia's actually going to surrender. Do, 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 do. I don't know what this song is I'm singing. Yes, 45. Get in. Let's go. The Ching human wave. Our GDP only goes up. Okay, uh, I need to keep building stuff, actually. Um, I like this arms industry stuff we've got going on. Gansu being the home of our, of our guns is really, really good. Uh, actually, we need iron mines first and foremost. So let's get the iron mines going. The Japanese are going to take... Oh, God. That's 116 defense. That's... Oh, that's nasty. Oh, it's back and forth. But because we hold some French... Okay. If we held no Russian territory, we would not, like, be able to get them down to negatives, I don't think. Because it will cap out at zero. But... Oh, my God. The French want to get out as well. France is out. We're going to get them to recognize us. Do, 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 do. And now watch the Japanese GDP suddenly shoot up. Let's go. Oh, you know, you're Japan. We've been enemies for so long. But honestly, you backed me. I think you're great. Yes. Didn't even go into debt. So that helps us with fragile unity because we're no longer unrecognized, right? Surely. Because we, yeah, we're number three great power because we've been recognized. The, we forced the Russians to recognize us. We beat the French and the Russians in a war. We're ranked number three in the world. I don't know how to stamp out monarchism because it says it in a journal entry, but I don't know where stamp out monarchism is. So we're in a customs union. Does that mean that Austria might join? But I kind of want to get that province back. Well, it's dies. It's not, it's not really worth it. All right, the sand living has been slipping, I admit. But to be fair, we did just win a huge war. We don't need these guns anymore, which is nice. I'll even, I'll import furniture for you. How about that from the French? Dude, our domestic arms industry is going to pop off. Okay, I'm going to try and secure us from fertilizer. Okay, from the Brits. Uh, also, I want to domestically produce fertilizer. How can I do that? Chemical plants will probably do it. Yeah, they'll do that. But they need iron and sulfur. Okay, I, I need to take my economy. I need to start building from the ground up instead of just sort of taking from other people. So let's get some sulfur mines going. Um, and probably some more iron mines. No, not in Ching Tomsk because there's only like 12,000 people there. So this guy's just pumping out guns. Yeah, make some cannons as well. Make some cannons. We, we need more stuff for that. But if we make cannons, that'd be great. Right. I'm not going to uh, turbocharge our construction industry just yet because I think a big part of why we won is we had way more gold reserves than he did. And Rush is now sort of suffering a little bit. You're belligerent. Yeah, let's see what happens, buddy. You want to go round two? Huh? Round two? Imagine being a number four great power. Well, couldn't be us. Oh. Morocco agreed to become the protectorate of Austria. Can we do anything like that? Uh, diplomatic plays. No, we want actions. Ask. I can invite this. Spain, you want to join my castles union? The attempt did. Oh, no. Okay, let's help how we can because we cannot afford for there to be a famine. That's uh, another thing that happened to the Qing. <laughs> Turns out a lot of people in China. A lot of people die in China when there's a famine. That'll help the furniture when we get that going. All right. What else could we do society-wise? Okay, four years of research is definitely worth it for the taxation capacity and we can upgrade all of our, like, government buildings. There was a ton more bureaucracy, but we need paper mills for that. God, there's so much to construct, man. Because, let me show you, if I go to this government administration, I go from here, I can go from, uh, this will allow us to have a filing cabinet system, which is great, because that's like 60 more taxation capacity for each one. Brilliant. Um, or at least, you know, 20 for, something for each one. There's a bonus for each one, anyway. Um, and it gives us more bureaucracy, so we can start doing some more institutions, like getting our people educated, which we haven't really been doing at all. But that requires more paper, so we need to build paper mills beforehand. Oh god, we've run out of, uh, buildings to construct, okay. 
Okay, well, the sulfur's there when we need it. We can domestically produce opium. Let's do it. All right, what are our shortages manufacturing-wise? Iron is still a big thing. Tools. Okay. Is there anything I can do to the mines, the iron mines? I can use nitroglycerin, but we don't have any explosives because I don't have that sort of industry yet. Okay. Um, do we have wood? No, not really. Loads of fabric. Okay, I reckon let's start building some furniture. Uh, and then we'll continue with the logging camps. As many as we can get. And then paper. Not the Tomsk. Not, never Tomsk. Please. Can I get rid of Ching Tomsk? Never been a fan of Ching Tomsk. Don't really want to develop Gainsu into a, a powerhouse of fabric as well. Oh, God. What's wrong with you? I don't have any hardwood. Uh, do we have a, a surplus of that? Of guns? We have a surplus of guns. That's, that's fine. I'm going to subsidize our arms industry. I can't. Because we're not allowed to. We definitely should. <laughs> we should definitely change our laws to allow that. Per capita taxation, that would probably not do much, apparently. Yeah, why? I, I shouldn't change my taxation laws because we already don't have the capacity for uh, increased taxation. It wouldn't change anything. I can't go mercantilism and then I can, or protectionism, protectionism, and then I can do some stuff with subsidizing. Right? Is this the subsidy one? Can't remember. Which one's the subsidy? Is it our economic law? Yeah, it's our economic law. My bad. Do need any sort of industrialist in power? Be wonderful. Um, everyone's pretty happy with me. Well, apart from the trade unions, but <laughs> cares about them, right? So how do I stop fragile? I think I can only ever stop it from happening. I can't like get rid of it. If that makes sense. So I think there's twenty percent means I I can have five of these things, but then I can get rid of them with some of these. Well, like so, I'm but I'm not like minus twenty percent. If that makes sense now. So if I, for example, had failed to retake the heavenly kingdom and then I had become a recognized power. It'd have been a bit different. Declare six interests. Okay, let's, uh, let's declare interests in, down here in Indochina, uh, in Persia, where else? France, because they messed with us. And I'm thinking maybe like Mexico. I wanna prop up the Mexicans. <laughs> Sounds like fun. I'm not microing the economy at all, so I'm not like really checking in on it. It's, we're just too big for that. I'm sort of generally looking at things. Like this furniture mill, for example. Yeah, hardwood's a bit too high. Uh, it sucks because I can't individually like shift over like half of my um, logging camps, for example. I can't make them say, oh, for example, half of you do hardwood, half of you do softwood, you know? I can, but I have to do it individually. Ooh, sawmills. I just need more tools. All right, there we completed the opium crisis. End of addiction. See, look, I think this is a, a bug because look, it says, Great Ching loses widespread opium addiction, which gives us these debuffs. We don't actually have it. So Manju stops becoming obsessed with opium. We get opium recovery for five years. Or the sovereignty happens. So 20 authority or plus two minimum wealth. We don't really need authority, so let's get some minimum wealth going. Poverty crisis. Let's make sure we avoid that. It sounds bad. Do we have paper? We, we still have a shortage of paper. It's very expensive. But everything else seems relatively cheaper. Here's the thing, the reason I think, personally, I, I could I could be wrong, why our imbalance for clothes and furniture is is down is because that we create the furniture, uh, hasn't changed, it's because we create the furniture uh, factory, right? And then people leave their subsistence farms to go and work in the factories, thereby earning a better life, thereby meaning that they want more furniture, more like they have the ability to purchase um, clothes and such. So they purchase them, meaning there's more demand, so it never changes. Okay, I'm going to switch out to wooden buildings for a little while, just so we can make some money. And then I want to start making a tool economy because we're going to use them in a lot of things. Gansu is just such an industrious place. All right, I want to start buffing everywhere else as well. Just trying to get this urbanized Ching thing going, uh, this journal entry. So it'll spread it out a little bit because otherwise we're going to have issues with infrastructure. So it lowers our construction capability. But I, honestly, I think with our GDP, we're not at risk of, uh, of losing that. Wow, the French GDP is sky. What the hell did you do? Did you take over the Spanish again? What? How is the French GDP just, just zoomed upwards? The British one as well, oh my God. What did you do? Diplomacy, what? You're fighting the US? You're useless, mate. I think you got someone in your casting union, 100%. Defensive pact with Italy. Trade agreements with Italy and Russia. You desire me as an ally, eh? All right, well, how about we get a trade agreement going? Trade agreement? Does anyone want a trade agreement? I wish they had the EU4 thing where you could, you could sort by people who want, want the thing. Why would you not join a, a bigger market that's 200 times your size and they owe you an obligation? This is odd to me. Switch back over to iron frame ones. Actually making money now with it. Ah, uh, that's good. Ooh, central banking. You get munition plants as well. I don't think anyone's going to mess with us. I, I, re I really think we start just focusing on like our industry. 
And tools are expensive, so let's see what we can do about that. Uh, where are our tools? Tooling workshops. We have steel tools. We don't have any steel, so that seems like a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Uh, we can also drop, so we don't use as much iron, but I don't I think we're fine. All right, we can create a huge demand for tools here. We're going to do it. This might crash our economy. Tempted to add a lick attacks and then just really throw everything into construction. Our issue is we have serfdoms. We can't educate our people. Uh, let's go for a dedicated police force. It's going to cost 3,000 additional. Oh, can't do that. Can't afford it. Fine, let's build our economy first and then we'll focus on internal affairs. We just got to keep that like gap going between us and everyone else. Because the French are one... It's like every time I look, they're just they're just hurtling ahead. Okay, what if we did something dramatic? Like, okay, I have an idea. If we start puppeting everyone around us, I think it's a good idea. We just we just charge everyone. Like, what's your GDP? 8.56. Oh, you're our protectorate. So why don't we make that official? Are you part of our market? Let me check the market stuff. Yeah, you're part of the Qing market. Okay. I could fight Britain directly, try and demand the East India Company. Right, I'm gonna do something a bit bold here. I go over to my buildings and oh, skirmish infantry, because that gives me another ten offense and five defense. Right, I need ammunition. Here, it's gonna be like plus fifteen each, so we're gonna do that, and that means we're gonna have a shortage of a lot of things, uh, specifically cannons. So if I switch my forts, my, not my forts, my buildings over here to do cannons as well. That'll help us. Um, unfortunately, it means we need a ton of iron, which we get from the Russians. So screw these tooling workshops. They are for sissies. All right, does that solve the issue with uh, the shortage? Where's Gansu? Not really. So we need more iron mines. Low market access in Gansu. That's horrible. Uh, decree, decree, decree. That's our main hub. Okay, it's doing okay now. We need to make sure we're not building anything there. Uh, ooh, it looks like the East India Company is fighting Hindustan. Are we suffering shortages of cannons? I don't think we are. No, we're not. Seven months left on this uh, decayed equipment. But we have a, a pretty modern army, if I might say so myself. Dude, that French GDP is just booming. We could export a ton of grain. Uh, let's do it to the Russians. We have a, we, I mean, we have just a, a metric ton anyway, so. Okay, I don't want tooling workshops in Gansu. I want everyone working in, I've got 400, I've got 100,000 people working just making this stuff. Okay, hardwood, we need more hardwood. Let's get some sawmills. If I have to import tools, I will. Okay, we need to import some, some hardwood from the Russians. You, the Russians, look, Russia, you and me, buddy. Yeah, conciliatory. That's what I'm saying. I think we improve relations with one another. Like we're such insane trading partners. Improve relations with the Russians. Yeah, because the sheer quantity of, of, of goods that we transfer to one another. Get a trade agreement going. What are we missing? We've got loads of tools, so that's fine. Wood is fine. Yeah, we just need more guns. And we need to not put them in Gansu, unfortunately. We need to put them somewhere else. King High could do well. It's right next to Gansu. Yeah, we've got a pretty modern army. This is great. And despite modernizing our army, it seems to have... Well, let's modernize it a bit more. Are we allowed... Can we build ammunition factories? Yeah, we can. We need explosives and lead. But we don't have anything... How do we make explosives? Produced in chemical plants. Well, let's test it. Let's build a bunch. No, not in, in King High. Is how much? Yeah, we can do it in King High. Build a couple there. Um, and then we'll switch them over to munitions and we'll see how we get on. Start going down more of the military route. Smooth balls for arms industries. Hell yeah. Triage. Pff. Nah, we got men to burn. Dude, our economy is like actually like really going super well just because. Oh man, yeah, we really need ammunition. Yeah, it's going up just because of our arms industry, like our, our internal domestic arms industry where I upgrade the army and then create a bunch of jobs to, to fund the army. Like it's gone stupid well. Okay, six weeks we get our first one of these. Uh, you should be building cannons as well. Later on you can do smooth board, but we don't have anything for steel. What are you? Cambodia. N no. I'll be there soon though. Don't you worry. What are my terms? No, he just makes fertilizer. We want explosives. And we need sulfur for that. Russia, you got any sulfur? Of course you do, you legends. All right, do we still have a sulfur shortage? Uh, uh coal, okay. Uh, Russia, you got any coal? Mm, no, they don't. I'll get it from the Austrians. All right, we're gonna need more sulfur. And we can't actually have any coal mines? Oh, we do have coal mines, good. Uh, King High is right there, but I don't wanna, I wanna spread out a little bit of Jian. Okay, that's the explosives being built. So now we need to grab ourselves munition plants. And we'll build it all in here, 10 of them. We're actually making so much money. 
Okay, <laughs> so what's this for? What are you trying to do? Uh, you want to treaty pour and open the Siamese market and ban stuff in Siam. Slavery. Okay. Arrival Brits and improve relations with the French and all basically all other great powers. I'm making a play, boys. I'm making a play. Speaking of, let's get some construction industry going. That's actually quite a few. I kind of maybe don't want that many. One, two, three, four, five. And then the rest of you. I did not mean anything by it, but yeah. I hate how the menu jumps up every time I try and cancel something. So the thing is, we're setting up our industry just in time, hopefully, for our barracks to... Oh, they've already lost their issues. What the hell is this? Oh, I want all of... Okay, hang on. Buildings, development. All right, I want everyone on this. Oh, that's a lot of money. That's fine. We don't have the ammunition for it. I want to wait for the munitions plants to be up and running, and then I'll trigger it. Siam seems to be holding off pretty well, he says, as he watches... Siam lose a battle, and another battle, and another battle. <laughs> they won a few. Okay, now we build the munition plants. I think now we switch everyone over. Because we're about to create a demand for our goods. Okay, the price of explosives. All right, it's all on this. Whether I can supply my troops or not. We're actually selling guns to people. Ah, lead. I'm so focused on everything else, I forgot that we might need lead. It's fine, we can create some lead mines in Beijing, of all places. What's your infrastructure like? Yeah, you can take it. Okay, see, this is what I really enjoy about this game is that you have this aim in mind. Like my aim is to try and take India from the British, right? I want to incorporate into my market because that's what's bolstering them. And so to do that, I've been upgrading my army, but to do that, I need to uh, sort of make sure the supply lines are all good and have a domestic um, market for it for when the British come and inevitably take out my stuff. But in doing so, I've actually created a decent um, arms industry and everyone wants to buy our arms. So now we can upgrade our troops nicely. Um, and as part of that, now we need to get some munitional plants going uh, and then they need lead mines. So it's, it's all, it all ticks over. Ooh, okay. Um, the infrastructure side of things is going to be pretty bad because that's going to lower the market access. Um, let's drop that by two. I'll do a decree, increase road maintenance. But otherwise, we're going to need some more munition plants. Okay, Xi'an. How's Xi'an doing? Yeah, yeah. We can do like two in Xi'an. And he starts spreading out. I'm really rapidly approaching my infrastructure limit, which means we need railways, which means a lot more steps. All right, you're starting to get the lead supplied to you, which is important. And so you can start actually producing the ammunition that we need to start supplying our troops. There you go. Look at that. And a pump for our mines would be good. That makes us pretty formidable. All right, I say we, let, we get this show on the road. Transfer subject, British Raj. It's going to give us 130 in for me. Now, I want to keep this lot in northern China. 112,000. Okay, let's pause all of that. Then. Try and hold our gold reserves for a while. And we are also going to mobilize our conscripts. Just to get some bodies in there. Because I need the bodies to protect against an invasion up here. All right, we're going to add another war goal of war apps. People really don't like me because of what I just did. All right, stop improving relations with... You and you start getting some infamy decay going and also the US. Now, they might have more troops than I do, but honestly, I'm not too, too fast because it's war of attrition for us. That's how we that's how we win. And we're not too far off of his defense and attack, which is nice to see. Ah, yes, let's defend. Let's go. Ammunition shortage. Can't really have that. So if we could import it, it'd be wonderful because we get a bit more. We have an artillery shortage. Okay, right. And everything's shortage, basically. Nothing domestic. Okay, we'll go. We'll purchase from the Dutch in that case. Uh, and then we need ammunition. The Prussians, apparently. The issue is they're going to start. They're going to oh, sink our convoys. Right. I think we leave behind 131. Now we'll leave behind uh, everyone else apart from this guy. He's going to come in. We take the attrition on the chin because we're Ching. And that's what we do. Unhealthy economy. Yeah, I know. Low market access ever. Yeah, I know. Oh god, the Russians, I think they cancelled their trade. Okay, fine. Shortages of what? What do we have a shortage of? Of hardwood. Okay, let's just import some hardwood. Surely someone somewhere will give me hardwood. I want to move on from this statement immediately, and I don't want anyone to say anything about it. Jesus Christ, Lathe, you're on the internet. You gotta be more careful what you say. We do have roughly even numbers. But mine should start trickling in more and more now that I've fully mobilized. We're actually starting to weather him down. It's because it's the British Raj here, not the UK. Their troops are a little bit softer. And we start to enter into territory. Not winning everything, but we're winning most things. Well, half the things. Oh, God. But the economy is really starting to tank. 
Okay, here's another thing I don't like about uh, this war system. Um, if I want war operations, it's minus 187. If I want transferring the entirety of British India to me, yeah, minus 147. I, it's it's sort of the, the, the sentiment's the same, which doesn't make any sense. Okay, I think this is starting to get out of control. Yeah, shortages, shortages, shortages. We need to import more stuff. Uh, get it from the Prussians. That's my artillery sorted. Hardwood. Get that one from Bali. Don't need as much on that one. And then ammunition. Got it from the Prussians and the Austrians. Yeah, shortage is really starting to catch up to us. That raiding is awful. Oh my god, they've sunk how many? Seven, 975. They've got 100% raiding efficiency. So they just... I don't think I can supply my troops at all. I don't think these, these things... Yeah, these things don't do anything. The trade routes don't do anything. Okay. Um, I can't do anything to stop this. We have to rely on our domestic production. Okay, logging counts. Where are you? Can I do anything with you? No. Okay, we just got to gamble. We're doing okay. We definitely slowed down since they started sinking our convoys. This is what I mean by having like the importance of having a domestic market. We lost about a million men. Jesus. Somehow we've pushed them out despite having less uh, attack. I'd love to see that. I had to push that. Okay, so we've killed uh, about half. <laughs> oh, God. See, they're dead and wounded are roughly similar. Our guys just die. <laughs> One million men dead from attrition. 24,000 from battle. Most people aren't dying from battles. <laughs> Oh, supporting the French workers. What does that mean? Sure, we'll support French workers. <laughs> oh, wow, the French hate me for that. That was a mistake. I think everyone hates me on the world stage. That's fine. I'm used to it. I'd love to know what the cost of war of this is. Damn, 20 million on our side, about 10 million on theirs. Yeah, I really threw everything I had on this. Tell you what, if you live in Gansu right now, <laughs> this market is so good right now. Don't sell arms outside. Oh, the truth. Will it dip below the negative number? Somehow that just lurched the right. I'll take that. And then lurch the left. Unfortunately, it looks like this, this war is going to become a stalemate. Because uh, I can't drop them down to below zero. Because uh, it says the following wars are not being occupied. Uh, transfer British Raj. I don't know how that... What counts as, as that war goal. Because I have parts of his territory. But unfortunately, he also now has my capital. <laughs> so I reckon this war, unfortunately, like I said, will end in a stalemate. But what's that? I... Uh, I hear rumblings from British High Command. Boys, ignore the Victoria 3 fading in. You're, you're not going to believe it. You're, you're not going to believe it when I tell you this. Uh, yeah, they, they... I don't know what to tell you. They just capitulated. <laughs> uh, right, I think that's what we'll call it for today. Uh, obviously, I did not win against the British Raj. I've taken a save from before... Um, before I, I did that old shenanigans. And I'm going to keep on playing this in my spare time. Because uh, I'm really enjoying, uh, enjoying the Ching. But a uh, big shout out to the real winner. Uh, France. Which became the number one GDP in the world. Again. Still not sure how they did that. What did we get after? Did they give you... Yeah. 100,000 diplomatic packs. Okay. That's that's pretty good. That's, that's where the British income came from. Let's see the French. I want to go check them out. So what did you do? Oh my god. Look at the amount of construction this man has. The French are ridiculous. They get 203,000 from tax from tariffs. Yeah, they import a ton of grain, import a ton of wood. Do they export anything? Dude, they don't export anything. They just import it all. Where's your money coming from? He doesn't export it. He just consumes. Oh, he exports some stuff. But yeah, mostly from the imports of, of grain he gets. He gets his tariffs. And then just taxes because the people are rich. And that enables him to just sort of truck away. He's not even using his full construction sector. That's insane. Right, so lads, if you did enjoy, please do let me know in the comments down below. I've personally been liking uh, Victoria 3. Uh, I actually, I, I tweeted about this as well. I feel like there's a lot of uh, polarization. Like, you either have to love the game or you have to hate it. Um, and I think it's kind of stupid. I think a lot of the old uh, Victoria 2 crowd um, are quite passionate, obviously, about the series, which is entirely fair enough. But I think they've also gone a bit far in terms of their vitriolic hate of of any sentiment of positivity towards the game. Like I said, it's cool to, to like a game, it's cool to dislike a game, it's whatever, but don't have a go at people for liking or disliking a game. Like, it's completely subjective. Um, so I actually had a lot of people dog on me for this. They were like, I can't believe you like the game. Yeah, I enjoy playing it. Don't need to justify that, but I enjoy playing it. Um, is it a bit rougher on the edges? In some places, yeah, the war system um, has drawn the most amount of criticism from most people. Um, the reason I'm talking about this now and not my previous Victoria uh, 3 videos is because those were recorded before um, the release. Uh, so it's sort of dicey whether or not you can give your opinion in those sort of uh, pre-release versions. So, but this is the release version now, so I feel comfortable talking about it. Yeah, and I think I'm excited to see where Victoria 3 goes. Um, will it stay as a mainstay on the channel? I don't know. To be blunt, it 
kind of depends on whether people are enjoying it or not. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential here. A lot of people are thinking, how can you make more content out of this game? I can think of quite a few ways, so, so stay tuned for, for all that. And if you have ideas for content, please do let me know in the comments down below. I do hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.